There is no one the internet is more worried about than Jelly Bean Sweets. I know many of you guys have seen the videos that she's posted where she's literally got the most insane eating habits I've ever seen. The thing I'm more interested in as a strategist is how she has become one of the most prominent creators of 2024. In this video, I'm going to talk about why she was able to stand out in a sea of other creators just like this and what I would do if she was my client. Now, first and foremost, this isn't the first time that we've been exposed to this type of content. There is something so wildly fucking Black Mirror about seeing someone who could literally be your little sister force feed themselves fast food every day, day in and day out. And this is extra scary when you factor in that just recently, within the past week, someone died live stream doing this. I think what makes her stand out in a sea of other people that do the same thing is that sense of parasocial relationship between her and her viewer. What we observe when we watch her eat is very much similar to what we experience when we are eating with our siblings. My brothers literally made fun of me every day for how I ate. They would always be like, stop eating that way. So within her content, we're kind of visually experiencing that in real time on social. If you're criticizing your little sister, like she almost knows that she's annoying and she knows that she's eating that way to bother you, but she's still going to do her thing. Be all this as it may, when you're an older sibling, you can't help but worry for this person. She did as many as 27 mukbangs within their last week. Needless to say, this is all working out very well and in her favor because she's making a lot of money. Which brings me to the next topic of what I would do if she was my client. Now, she is just shy of a million followers, which means that now she's at the level of influence where people are going to start paying attention to her no matter what she does and potentially following suit. She's now at the level that whether she's doing this for herself or not, she is now influencing people to behave kind of like her. When you operate at a certain level of influence, there needs to be a level of responsibility there that you take ownership for. What she needs to do is she needs to create contrast in her content. Specifically, don't just show the same type of video every single freaking day. What she can do is start introducing videos like what I eat in a day realistic edition or here's what I'd pick if I could only get one thing from Taco Bell. Or maybe the sister that she talks about, she brings in for a video and they both do a video of them eating a normal meal together. She can still make food the focus because that's clearly why people are coming to her. Too often I see creators like her who are seeing most of the money coming from one type of video and so they only create one type of video. But this will give her audience a much needed break which will allow them to get to know her better and it'll also create that sense of every new video is exciting. Last thing that I want to add is I think it's really important for her moving forward from here on out to openly verbally acknowledge that this is not a sustainable healthy lifestyle. By simply coming to the table saying, you know, this isn't how I eat, but sometimes I like to treat myself. That is okay. As always, let me know what you think. Do you like that kind of parasocial relationship that she has of that little sister dynamic? Do you see her wanting to change her style and format of video? Let me know.